Well, it finally happened just before 10 o'clock on Wednesday morning. We had the A storm in the Gulf of Mexico named of Alberto. That will continue to move toward Mexico. The center is going to be well to the south of us, but tonight we will still have some scattered showers because of the far outer reaches of Alberto in our area. And that will continue again through the at least midnight hour and then things should start to taper off. Then we may see a little bit more as we head into tomorrow, especially across the southwestern parts of our area. But the main circulation as well the south, but they're really getting hammered here across South Texas. Heavy rain and that is actually some good news. Not along the coast are getting a lot of coastal flooding, but inland they need the rain badly down there. They're still in drought, so that is a bit of good news and the main circulation itself is well down to the south into the Bay of Campeche, 650 miles away from the center point of central Texas to the center of circulation there and we are seeing rain from it. So it doesn't mean you can't see something from a tropical system even hundreds of miles away, and that's what we've been seeing around here. But again, that track will continue to push it into Mexico, and it will weaken as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Let's take a look at our future track, showing again abandoned little showers here as we make our way through 10 o'clock from about Waco Temple, Colleen, south and west. Then that pushes off toward the west, and we will likely see things pretty quiet in the morning some clouds around, maybe an isolated shower or two, and then a few showers. An isolated thunderstorm may dot the area as we head through 5 p.m. on Thursday. About a 30% chance you'll get wet. Then we will have uh, maybe an isolated shower by 10 o'clock going into 6 a.m. Friday morning, and then Friday afternoon once again. Some residual tropical moisture around. An isolated storm or two will be possible, and then I think it shuts off altogether as we make our way into the weekend and it gets hot once again. As we take a look at our our forecast rainfall map. It looks like again Waco Temple clean southwest. This is where we're going to see the best potential for rain generally under an inch. So nothing too major, but uh, from Colleen, Lampasas, Burnett to Georgetown to San Saba. Again, you'll probably have the better shot of more accumulation than the rest of us around here. And for tonight, temperatures will work their way down into the low to mid 70s for us. There'll be that humid tropical feel out there. Then highs into the 80s out west tomorrow. That's what the clouds are going to hold on the longest. 90s start to creep in for the rest of us, and it just goes higher from there. As we go from 92 to 93 degrees on Friday, we shut off the faucet for the weekend. 90 94, 95 degrees there, 95s and 96s as we head into next week. And yes, we will see the potential of an isolated thunderstorm by the end of the 10-day forecast, but nothing major. And those heat index values will be over 100 each and every afternoon. And as we look at the Brazos Valley, again, about a 40% chance for a few more scattered storms on Thursday, 20% Friday. Then we start to take it down even more with just some isolated chances by the middle part of next week with highs in the mid-90s.